What up, everybody? Your boys are here in Montana. We got one problem, man. Grizzly bears. There's one bear in particular that has started to wreak havoc on the locals, and his name is Thunderclaw. Probably the, one of the smartest bears I've ever known. Look, yeah. look at the size of that bear track. Is that him? Yep, it is. Straight up bear country. You see something down there? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, there he is. Get out of here, bear. Get out of here. I'll get her to show you how, how strong she is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no! Hell no! Time to bait this trap up. You know what I mean? We got to get this sucker ready, man, to lurk a bear. Get ready, Thunderclaw, because the legend hunters are coming for you. It's real and chance, and we on for the chase. We hunt them down, make them fall on their face. We'll take you at the tops of the trees. Nowhere to hide, not even caves in the seas. No, this ain't no hide and seek. Yeah, only the best compete. Don't matter if the sun rain the thunder, you know who you can call that man. Legend hunters. This is a bear country, elk country, deer country, God, duck man. run for your life country. It's gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Damn, dude. What up, everybody? Your boys are here in Montana at beautiful Swan Lake. Oh, as you can see, it is downright gorgeous. Beautiful. But in the cabin, we got one problem, man. Grizzly bears. Big grizzly bears. Wait, wait, wait. Not grizzly bears. We actually got one grizzly bear. One crazy ass bear in the name of Thunderclaw. Kalispell, Montana. A peaceful, beautiful town that is known for its breathtaking views. But it's also known for its large grizzly bear population. Grizzlies are considered by some experts to be the most aggressive of all bears. He can even reach up to 10 feet tall, man. That's like a damn basketball rim. There's one bear in particular that has started to wreak havoc on the locals, and his name is Thunderclaw. Casey Anderson is the bear expert for Nat Geo Wild. He has over 15 years of experience with grizzlies, and he's been going after Thunderclaw for years. And that's why your boys are here. To help prevent any more damage, destruction, and hopefully death at the hands of this grizzly behemoth. Get ready, Thunderclaw, because the legend hunters are coming for you. So we're going over to Smoke Rock Ranch. Is that the name of uh, it? Uh, smoke, Smokey Ranch. Smoke, smoke a Rock Ranch. <laughs> smoke a Rock on a Ranch. <laughs> so we're going over to Smokey Rock it's, what is it called? So we're headed over to... Excuse me. So we're headed over to... Let me let this car pass. Let my mind think. So we're headed... <clears throat> so anyway, we got to meet with Anderson and, and Timbo. We got to get the heck up out of here, man, before that bear claws him down. You ain't lying, man. You ready? You boys, man. I'm ready. Let's go. You know, I heard the black bears went through uh, slavery. Slavery to who? The Kodiak bear? Nah, polar bears, man, when they used to be on this side. And you know, back in the day. Damn. Then it went to the Grizzlies, started whooping their ass and punking around. Next thing you know, man, the black bears stood up, man, started swiping necks off left and right. <laughs> then they kicked the polar bears out. That's why yeah. in Alaska. Yep, then Alaska. Yeah, I heard that. Dang, that's, I heard that story too, bro. Yeah, yeah. Smoking Joe Ranch. Smoke, smoking Rock Ranch, more like it. Hey, look at that beard on that sucker. Hey, what's going on? How what's happening? How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Very good. Been waiting to meet you. I know it. Come yeah, on, right up the mountain. What's yeah, your name? Bet. Real. Real. Yeah. Come here, you partner. I, I gotta give all, all my folks a nice big hug because there might be a time that I have to treat you like my son. Chance. Be <laughs> tall. Casey. Man, I just got here in the damn wilderness and already I got a bird nest in my damn face, man. I don't even hug guys, man. Is he nuts? Especially people that I just met. Hey, Hi, Hi. Hey, Hi. Aubrey. But Aubrey, she can hug me all day, man. Cause I ain't been hugged by a woman in weeks. <laughs> you a local? I'm actually from the south, south of here, mm -hmm. and Aubrey's local. That's why she's she's my local assistant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she knows the trails and the mountains like the back of her hand. She's kind of like Sacagawea. She might say something about a sack of weed, bruh. <laughs> Essentially what's happening is this, there's a bear around here that you've heard about, Thunderclaw. Yeah. And he's learning that there's human food sources. And he's been breaking into cabins. He's been doing all kinds of crazy stuff around here. Typically, October, Casey can tell you what happens with their, you know, their body where they start really needing them calories. And so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's a thing called hyperphagia. Mm -hmm. And essentially, they go from eating about 10,000 calories every day to 30,000 calories every day. 
because they need to get fat for the winter. So this is the time, we came at the time where they're real aggressive. Yeah. What we need to do and what we're trying to do is something that's never been done before, and that's catch Thunderclaw and get him out of here. Because How if we don't do that, well, we got to figure that out. <laughs> that's what it is, yeah. Right. So in order for your boys to catch Thunderclaw, we got to know as much about Thunderclaw as possible, and we got to know as much about grizzly bears as possible. But this time of year, like I said, they step it up. They got to get fat. They want to, they're the path of least resistance. You know, if you want to go around digging roots and berries when you can go and break into a house and eat cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing they eat is the cheeseburger. And then they come back to the house and someone put their cheeseburger away. So they look for option two. Then it might be Fluffy the dog. And if Fluffy the dog's not there, then it's whoever lives there. How likely are they to attack a human? When a bear is at desperate times, it takes desperate measures. And it's only a matter of time before that bear hurt somebody. Right. And one thing to keep in mind is that if we do encounter a bear, stick by us. Yeah. Let us let we'll us do, do that assessment. We'll do. I may be a legend hunter, but I ain't hunted bear yet, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you run. Right by you. You're hoping I run. I'm hoping you run. I thought that's one thing you don't want to do. That's yeah. the whole point. I'm, then I'm safe. Ah, I ain't running then. Smart so man. Make you bear bait. How do you know it's Thunderclaw that's doing this? Does he have a beard on his face or a certain <laughs> a patch on him that you know it's Thunderclaw? or just one big toner that's hanging out that looks like <laughs> Thunderclaw. The way I find if it's Thunderclaw or not is essentially by tracking. And he has very specific claws, and he's got a big, big foot, and he walks with a very distinctive pigeon toe. Damn. It's unmistakable. What's our plan to Thunderclaw? Are we going to ship him out of here? Are we going to take him to a resort? How are we going to trap him? Are we going to tranquilize him or put a collar on his neck? What are we going to do with this beast? With the old mountain menu sees traps. And it's an idea we have, but it's got to be a very specific situation. Yeah. If we can find the right place to do it. Well, how are we going to know when we find the right spot for the trap? What we're going to do is assess. I haven't gone out today. We're going to go out and do what we would do. Assess the situation, see what we can find. We're hoping maybe to get on some horseback. Nice, and, that's what uh, we do. That's what you right. explore the land. <laughs> right. Yeah, don't call us a stay in there for nothing, baby. <laughs> so how about I show you around the rock? Yeah, yeah, let's check this place out. Do it. Keep your head on a swivel. Yeah, and I smell that's why I stay looking around, man. So now you boys got to go search the land because we need to find out where we're going to put this Wolverine trap. We can't just put it anywhere. We got to put it in the right location so we can catch this bear, or shall I say, Thunderclaw. So we have seen some sign of Thunderclaw around here, we think. So the only way to really get a good grasp is to ride around the ranch. Will the, will the horse they run? How do they react it's when they see bear? Like, their ears will running. get real perked up if they smell it. So you want to watch their ears and watch their noses. You know, they'll, they'll know when it's in the area right away. They can smell them from several hundred yards away. You guys get to pick your horses you want, too. Let's go over here. <laughs> I'm taking the Palomino. I'll take a okay. chestnut. Man, I'm the number one stunner when it comes to horses, man. I'm an English pleasure western all that champion man and you know what i never got to show my skills properly now i get to show off in front of these montana you good jacks. you good i ain't gonna lie he good thank you dog i'm number one myself chaps up chaps up oh god i need a stool look y'all i'm a stallion there okay and they bring me this big ass horse i can't even get on my horse and it makes it look like i don't know what i'm doing what happens if i get up on this horse cowboy style I guess no one hears me. Okay. I'll tell you about them Keebler L's, man. I'll tell you about them Keebler. Well, hell, Keeblers need smaller horses, okay? Well, Keeblers, man, you you would think they can get on a horse with those damn boots that curve to their chest. You know what I mean? Maybe they need to take uh, them curvy boots off. Let's see, horse. Come on. We're gonna get smart here. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna use this. Okay. Look at that track right there, Case. That's well, amazing. I'll be. That's a good one. You see that big? Look, yeah. at, look at the size of that bear track. That him? Yep, it is. The thunder? It is him. Is that a fresh foot? That's, front? His, that's his front paw, which is the smallest of his paws. The back paws are big. They're almost, they're big and long, like our back feet are. Anything? Remember I told you his toes kick in like his pigeon toe? Mm-hmm. See how they kick in this way, like this? Well, and there he goes, just walking along. This was a big bear. Damn. This was a big bear, man. And the bear tracks, you know, the, the Thunderclaw sits like this. The bear tracks were just like this, so it looks like this could have been Thunderclaw's uh, footprint, man. So it lets us know we're on his trail. So it's definitely him. Look, look at what we got over here, guys. What do you got over there? Well, 
It's what's left. Holy, look at this. What do you got? Chance, real, check this out. What you got there? See here where it's all scratched up and torn around? Mm -hmm. See the flies around it? Yeah. There's a carcass in there. Oh my God. Hey, now I'll tell you one thing, guys. Oh, no, seriously, seriously, sir. Hang on, guys. Would seriously. Eat a coyote? Remember I told you I don't want to get you guys killed? Yeah, bro. Come on. One of the first things you don't do, oh. and that we're doing it right now, we don't want to be hanging around by a, a carcass. That's because they're coming back for their food later. Well, on. that's why it's buried like this. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, my God. Wait oh. a minute. What they do is they'll bury it like this so birds and stuff and other animals can't smell it or see it. Yeah, yeah. And it, it is fresh. It'll come back. Now, I mean, I see a deer leg. Oh, my God. A, oh, a, a, a calf, huh? It's a hoof. Yeah, it's a small a, deer. It's a baby fawn. It'll come back. That means he's been out here. He might be amongst us. You see Damn. that carcass? I told you this was real. I'm starting to think we in a I, raw head. Man, I think we better get the hell up out of here. I think we made a mistake coming to Montana, y'all. Coming up. Right up. Bear country. You see something down there? Wait, wait. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There he is. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. And later, the bait is in place. We got the trap set. Your boys are going to be hiding. <laughs> so we're out here researching, man. We found Thunderclaw print. We find bones from a gazelle, a deer, whatever that was. Now we found Thunderclaw meat, man, that he's torn to shreds from a deer. We're finding so much evidence. I'm kind of tripped out off this. Essentially, when you're tracking an animal, you just got to take these evidence points like this and just start linking them together. Hey, Aubrey, if that scat over there has deer hair in it, then this is Thunderclaw because that's his track. <laughs> this is not the greatest place to set a trap. You got to recon it. Not a lot of cover. And the last thing we want to do is be out here when the sun goes down. Let's go check that scat out over there. There's some bear scat over here. Golly! What do you see in there? Oats and corn and... Mixed in with deer hair. You're tripping. That is deer hair, man. Anytime that you find something like this, it tells a story. And it's interesting because this grayish stuff down here, that's coyote scat. And what Thunderclaw is telling that coyote by doing this on top of his stuff? <laughs> wow. Marking his territory. Yeah. He's like, you think you're ruling this ground? Yeah. I'm right on yours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right here, we've got some bear scat. Oh, it was skating all over the place. Ugh, look at that maggot in there. Oh, my Lord. They got some berry-looking booboo. Give it a smell, because if it, you can tell, it'll smell like berries. Come on, bro. Now we got to smell some Thunderclaw crap. Damn! We're the legend hunters, not the dung hunters. You know, actually, the presence of maggots proved to me that it was eating meat, too. That's crazy. <laughs> wow, look at this terrain, man. Straight up bear country. Keep your eyes peeled, because you never know. I yeah, mean, no, I've been through here a lot of times and seen a lot of, you know, bears, and they'll stop and look at you and boogie. Mm -hmm. Wow, those rivers. Really nice spot down there. Look at, look at my horse. Around this horse. Look how my horse is looking. Yeah, I think he's checking something out. You see something down there? I don't know. Remember what I said? If the prey animal knows something? The way his horse is looking? I feel like he's ready to stampede. You think we should get up out of here? Yes, I do. Whenever an animal freaks out like that, they let you know, get the hell out of there. Hey, Timber, light the smoke up. See which way the wind's going. Hey, Case, it's blowing away from the river. Come here. Come here. Come here. You got to hurry. You got to hurry. I got you. Get over there. Don't run, you guys. You're going to spook the horse. He's like right down in there, and then just, oh, he was thought. just right down right here down in the trees, there. and he just went right in the thick brush. The brush. Good job, buddy. Yeah, yeah, good Dang. job, buddy. Wait, wait, come here, come here, come here. The tree was moving around right over there. I heard just heard him. You heard him? Hear him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's upset. This bear's making noise for one reason. That's because they're not happy. What's that right there? I see just something brown right here. I hear a pouncing down there, too. I keep hearing stuff crack down there. If it hasn't gone away, there's a chance that that bear has a carcass, like the one we saw earlier. 
Oh my God. I, oh my God, there he is. There he is. He's right there. He's big. He is big. We've got an actual oh sighting. <laughs> He pushed the tree down. Oh, down. Another tree. Oh my god. He's performing right now, man. He's down there doing some dirt. He's coming this way, sir. We don't have a trap. We don't have no bait. We don't have a tranquilizer. We don't have none of Not the things we need. This could be a dangerous situation. Very. Get out of here, Bear. Get out of here. Oh my Jesus, boy. You think that could be Thunderclaw? Damn, it is. Bears, their hair coat changes year after year a little yeah. bit. I don't know. This year could be different. Shall we keep on moving while the, um... Well, I mean, it's just a smart thing for that bear. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, I think we just get out of here. <laughs> this bear was so damn big, he was knocking down trees. Now, we don't know if it's just a normal bear or if it's Thunderclaw, but all I know, it's time to get the hell up out these mountains, man, because nightfall's coming and the bears are coming out. <laughs> To Shea Lake to meet with your boy Lee Willis. This guy has the story of all stories when it comes to dealing with Thunderclaw. We hope Lee's gonna give us a good insight and some valuable information. Since he had a run in with this beast, hopefully he can share the knowledge of this beast. Hey Lee, we brought a couple of guys up with us that are interested in hearing your grizzly bear stories. I hope someone brought the beer. <laughs> oh man, this guy's really thirsty. I got something better than beer, baby. I'm glad you spoke up. Cool. How you hey, doing? Chance, good. man. Chance, nice really? To meet you. Yeah. How you doing, real? Real? Hey, pleasure to meet you. Same here, man. Yeah, well, welcome to my camp. Thank you, man. We got a good fire going here, and um, right. can't beat the view. Sure. Yeah, yeah, well. We got a cheers to your first grizzly bear sighting, because yeah. do it. That doesn't happen every day. Beautiful Montana. Cheers. Find the thunder claw. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find the thunder claw for sure. Now, I wish we had a fishing rod. We got one. We got one. Can I catch a fish? Yeah, and, and what about shooting? Can I, can I do a little bit of that? Heck yeah. Oh, wait, I'll take a fish for yeah, Catch a fish, it. we'll shoot the fish. Man, I can't miss an opportunity to show off my damn fishing skills, baby, because I'm a fisher man. Damn. Danny, you're not gonna catch anything like that. <laughs> Shut your goat-headed ass up. Excuse me. Why is your younger brother down there, un unsupervised? <laughs> Where's that gun? Look, I came here to hear your stories, man. I don't want to catch no trout. I was camping out here, and it um, oh, wasn't very long ago. I also heard there were some thieves in camp, like, screwing with people. So I put a camera on a tree, and, uh, See what you got there. Wow. That's what came into my camp. I lost my dog. What's worse than that is, how do I explain that to my daughter? Oh my goodness. This is my, this is my daughter. Damn. I love my dog. Hunter's the greatest dog ever. Give me a second. You know what, man, hearing Lee's story about Thunderclaw, man, it really, it really puts things in perspective, man, about how much trouble Thunderclaw really is to the community. You know, man, we really need to get our hands on this bear, man, before something really terrible happens, man. Man. What was his name? Hunter, man. Coming up, we're gonna meet Logan and his little bear, Rosie. I'll get her to show you how, how strong she is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no! Hell no! And later, time to bait this trap up. You know what I mean? We got to get this sucker ready, man, to lurk a bear. Jogi Bear would have been in here in a heartbeat. You think the bear understands it? Day two, your boys are still here in Montana, man. At Smoking Rock Ranch. Chilling. And Chilling. Chilling. Yesterday was rough. Come here. Oh my God, there he is, there he is. We've got an actual sighting. <laughs> Get out of here, bear. Get out of here. Today's a big day. We're going after this bear. This sucker's big, he's crazy. You know, he's been terrorizing this place. Has he not? Yes, he has. Casey said, man, he got a bear for us to see today, man, get a little familiar with. So today, we're gonna get familiar with the bear. All right, all right, let's get on out of here. We're headed to a, a reserve to see Rosie. Yeah, Rosie. Rosie the bear. 
Rosie's a big bear. So Rosie's probably half the size of Thunderclaw, but she'll put it into perspective for you what these guys can do. So now your boys are headed over to Triple D Game Ranch, where we're going to meet Logan and his little also oh friendly bear, Rosie. Yeah, look at that little bear. That little bear tear your ass yeah, up. Yeah, trust me, I know. <laughs> That's Logan. Thank you, oh my God. There's Aubrey. How you doing? How you doing, Chance? How you doing, Chance? That, that thing's protecting you like a pit bull. <laughs> She's growing. Damn. Yeah, she is. How old is she? Uh, she's three and a half years old. Oh, my God. When, when are they full grown? Uh, around five years old, six. Did you guys raise this bear? We did, from a month old. I raised her in my house. Oh, wow, man. She slept in a bed with you, too? She did. Damn. You guys' bond is amazing. Oh, my God. Damn, look at that. That is a trip. Do you ever think that, because she's still a wild animal, you think she'd ever, ever have the capabilities of turning on you? All wild animals are able to. Whoa. Oh, he's easy. Oh, oh shit. Nice. See how quick She's very are. protective very of you. Quick. So, Logan, you've got a few things you want to show us to kind of demonstrate yep. the grizzly for us. I'll get her to show you how, how strong she is. Break. Watch. Man. Oh, my goodness. That thing's flat as a pancake. Hey, you know how tough those things are. <laughs> she just folded that up like a piece of paper. <laughs> Bears like to destroy things, there's no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. She bent that thing up like it was just a flimsy rubber band, man. That's ridiculous and strong. They're incredibly strong. But she'll come in with her paws low. Oh, oh my goodness, man. Swinging that left paw out, trying to trip him, take it the takedown. She's like a UFC fighter. Yeah. She's like a straight man. Well, look it, look it, look it. You would want to cover up your head and neck. You'd want to lay flat on the ground. You'd want to play dead. Because they perceive you as a threat. Golly, this bear is crazy. What are you doing? Now Logan's got the best of Rosie. I can see. <laughs> Damn, you saw that trip up? Oh, no! Hell no! Oh! Looks like she's ready to tear Adam's apple out. I mean, a bear will reach in, try to rip your guts out, or rip, grab your throat, grab your head. She pulled down your fly. <laughs> she was striking for shaft. <laughs> <laughs> she got you in a position now, I told you. I told you, look at her. Look at this guy, man. The bear's humping him, his zipper's down. He did tell her she slept in the bed with him for a long time. Hey, Logan. Thanks for doing that, man. Thank Logan, you very much. thanks, bro. I will shake your hand, but you got a lot of bear glue on it. Man, all this man on bear action got me hungry as hell, man. So your boys are headed over to Grizzly Jacks to get us some grub. Grizzly Jack Saloon. Don't you think Grizzly Jack looks a little bit like Timber? Definitely. Timber? He definitely looks like Timber. A younger version. Man, so we walk into Grizzly Jack's, but for some reason, man, I feel like we're being watched, like we're being even stared at. And it ain't by people, bro. Man, what's up with white people with all these dead animals on their wall all the time? Are they crazy? It's like they like to be stared at in the night for some reason. The doll sheep over there. Have you seen them? They go and they ram each other's heads. The bighorn sheep hit each other's head. Mm -hmm. There's something else other than their horns that are big. You can tell on that yeah, there. Wimble. Yeah. The Wimbles is pretty damn yeah. tiny. And his balls are refurbished over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I wonder if they kept the little balls inside. That's what they actually make the buffalo wings out of here. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, I... Brought me a bloody burger. It smells so good, it looks so good, and bit into it, and it wasn't oh so good. I'll call it for you. Thank you, bro. I'll tell you what, don't throw that away. We could use that for bait. Mm -hmm. Hey, bait it is, man. <laughs> I got one for you. Grizzly bear. They got a thing called a baculum. When a bear gets an erection, it isn't blood that goes to it, it makes it hard. It's actually a bone. Whoa! <laughs> that comes and actually pushes out into the penis and makes their penis erect. It's called a baculum. I need to have surgery then, because I need a bone. They Maybe that's where they got the word boner from. So how big is the shaft compared to a horse's if they have a bone? Uh, they got good length, but not very good girth. Oh, yeah, they got a little... But maybe I don't need the surgery. They're sporting a pencil, for sure. Damn! I know the female bears are like, 
Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, I'm learning more about bears than I needed to ever know. Keep that to yourself, bruh. We in society get detached from our animal instincts? Yes. I was forced to keep in touch with my animal instincts. Wow. My dad was a hunter, and we we killed animals to eat, you know? Whoa! So we got an animal instinct, too, we picked up on. Because we live in South Central L.A., and them fools act like animals sometimes. I don't like the way he's looking at that. I think I'm going to him up. <laughs> he like this. Animal instincts come in. We have predator. We have predator. South Central L.A.? <laughs> Bob Marshall Wilderness? Yeah. All the game is the same game. <laughs> I gotta take this, sorry. Take it, bro. What, what, are you, what are you? I'm Irish, Hello. Italian, and German. Yes, sir. So you got a little bit of Mussolini, <laughs> Hitler, and Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. What do you think we gotta go? Bear got into the horse barn. Right now? The horse barn's tore apart. Damn. Yeah, he think Thunderclaw and got to the barn, scared the horses off, and all that man. Gone, man. gone. So we gotta get back to the house pronto. I think we should grab all this. I don't want to see nothing happen to no horses, man. Let's get out of here, man. Coming up, one thing we gotta do. It's a legend hunter ceremony. Pull Damn, up. where'd you get that at? Hey! <gasps> you need a headband? I got one on. And later, the bait is in place, we got the trap set, your boys are gonna be hiding. Thunderclaw, we're coming for you. We need to get back to Smoking Rock Ranch, man, because the barn is straight toe up, and it sounds like the works of Thunderclaw. Whoa, whoa. Casey, you know Bob, he's the ranch owner. Hey, Bob. Bob, Chance, and Real. Here's the deal, we're up there, you know, thinning back at Shotgun Ridge, and uh, all of a sudden there's a tremendous racket, and I heard the horses. We came down here and it was all over. I mean, the horses are scattered. I don't even know where the hell they went. I saw some tracks, some of them went across the river, and uh, I think the bear's still around because the horses haven't come back. Man, I'm so pissed this damn bear got the best of us, man. Took all the bait. That bear's around here somewhere. This is what we've been dealing with for the last month. And worst of all, Bob is super pissed, and he got a big-ass pistol on the side of his hip. Holy mackerel, what the hell do you have on your dip? Why, why, why? This is my solution to the bear problem. Which this man isn't going to like. No, I mean, I understand. You got to protect yourself. We've been doing this for a long time, yeah. and this is it. There's plenty of food around here still. Yeah. So he's gonna come back here and eat this. Yep. Just let us set something up on here. We'll figure it out. We gotta figure it out. But the, the bear's gonna come back. We can all stand around slack jaw like a bunch of truck drivers, but it doesn't fix this kind of mess. Well, I mean, I have a couple ideas. And what would that be? We could build a trap made out of logs. We haven't done this at your place yet. Well, we need to get to it then. We're gonna build us a very unique trap and place it somewhere on a ranch where we can capture ourselves a bear. Starting to feel a little Kunta Kinta ish in here. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, hey, uh, I'm on a, <laughs> on, a, on a boat to America. <laughs> you got a hammer? You want to get it down pretty fast to here because the bear. You, all right, all right, like, like, like this. When you get here, you drop it. Yes, perfect. There you go. There you go. Excellent. Perfect. Time to bait this trap up. You know what I mean? We got to get this sucker ready, man, to lurk a bear. Because, man, because a bear might be right around the corner waiting to come back and get his snack on. You know he's been eating the horse feed, so right. I think that's our base. He's Look, gonna want to. We got him salmon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love salmon. We gotta get just enough out here to, keep, to make him think that he's gonna come out and he's gonna get something, and then a little bit more, and a little bit more, right? And then jackpot in the back, yep. right? Like so, they're doing the Tom and Jerry cartoons. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, and leave yeah. all the good. I mean, he's gonna start off with his salad. Sure Jogi Bear would have been in here in a heartbeat by now. Yeah, this is like a picnic basket on steroids. These gummy gummy gummies is good. I'll have you and Aubrey and Bob take these radios and go up on the ridge. Oh, Me and the guys nice. up in the rafters there. Oh, you guys honey. listen and give us a heads up. That'd be uh. Are you trying to pour honey on me? You think the bear understand this? 
I'm not trying to give him you. sign language or nothing. The other thing you probably want to do is take some of this horse and rub it all over you so you can disguise. You can't stop him. This guy's your You can't stop him. I don't know about that, bro. You threw too close to the horses. I've hunted a lot, and that's what you do. You disguise your sand, but. So Bob, Tim, Timber, and uh, Aubrey, get on the ridge. Get, get in good spots. Make sure you can see us and communicate with us. And we're going to be up in the rafters. We're in a dangerous spot, obviously. Yeah. And I just wait in the truck. That's a nice place. Man, shut up. Get you your ass up there. Hunter. Your <laughs> yeah. I know it. Sun's right. going down. This be the last time. It's time. Wait. It's just time. Picked up some horse dung. Damn. Don't matter. We're going to shake hands with you, but right. not after that. Right, good luck, here. guys. Good we luck. can always do oh. this. Good luck. Good Get luck. Get yourselves thundercloud. Good luck. Let's catch him. Thank you, man. He's been a problem. I want him out of here. Gonna, we're gonna we'll do it. We're doing it tonight. We didn't come way down here to this damn barn for nothing. We got him, Doc. All right, but there's one thing we gotta do, bro. Your boys got to get geared up. It's a legend hunter ceremony. Can we? Let's do it. Come on. I can't wait to see this. What we got? That's for you. It's a little funky. I like this. Well, you can wear this one. Leave it to Beaver. This is a bit warm. It is getting cold out here. Wow. Infrared binoculars. You need a headband? I got one on. Hey, and I got my, my, my warm hat to keep my brace tight. I know one thing you don't have. What? Well, Damn, where'd you get that at? Hey! I will hog in your ass. Whoosh. Come on. The bait is in place, we got the trap set, your boys are gonna be hiding. I think it's about time, man. Thunderclaw, we're coming for you. Coming up. Man, Thunderclaw's still roaming around out there, man. Man, I don't know how the hell we getting out of here. Bro, now we're stuck up here. Good, I'm not getting down on them damn ground. <laughs> So we got the trap set up and baited, and we got our team in the field, right? We got Aubrey, Bob, and Timber. They're gonna be scoping the lands because they gotta watch your boys back because we're gonna be where? Me, Real, and Casey are gonna be in the barn kicking it, man, and I'm gonna have the rope in control because I'm trapping this bear personally. And if he don't let that thing go at the right time, we ain't gonna get our bear and we might just get killed, bro. You ready? Man, you dang on right, I'm ready. Give us some notes, Doc. Don't move. Watch. You know, let's move what you need to move. Um, we want to keep quiet and actually whispering like this. That's a higher pitch noise. I actually hear you whisper. I don't know if I want to hear you whisper. Your breath is powerful. Could you lower your damn voice while I'm pinching that Would you stop eating garbage and whispering in my face? Do that again, I'm throwing you off personally. <laughs> One more time, you're out of here. <laughs> you know, you're getting out. Don't play with me, man. I would throw you off the. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, stop flirting. I'll tell you, I don't know if, you, if your gas doesn't kill us, the grizzly bear that hears us up here is going to. I'm, I'm getting I'm farting. You think I'm getting hernia? I'm letting the gas out. If I got to kill everybody with it, the more serious and quiet we are. Last time we have to wait. A lot of breaking in branches down here by the river coming in. Talk to us. I see something out here by the side of the log cabin, but it's all in the dark, so we can't. That bag, though. Be careful, I ain't getting just close.
don't. Remember, don't move that thing. If he grabs onto that door, don't play tug of war with it. I do not want it. They're so big. The ocean is Mess this up. roaming around out there, man. Man, I don't know how the hell we getting out of here. Bro, now we're stuck up here. Good, I'm not getting down on them damn ground. You saw that big ass bear? Hell yeah, and he's still lurking out there too. Okay, see, so how do we get the hell out of here? We're stuck until that bear goes away. Do you see the bear right now? Hey, this is Aubrey. He just moved off and now he's now on the other side of the front lodge there. But you guys still hold your position. I want to confirm that he's actually moving off. Okay, copy that. Just keep us posted. Man, I was celebrating too soon. Timbers house, man. Everybody's gonna meet there and talk about what we saw. I tell you what, that was the scariest escape I ever been in. You can say that again. Oh, that was insane. Do you think that was Thunderclaw, bro? He had the Every pigeon walk, man, he yeah, damn near made a did. pyramid. He was so pigeon toed it had him really. His walk was wobbly, you know. Yeah. When I saw him coming in towards that barn, and right away I thought they need to change their name to. Snack and food. <laughs> we were like 30 yards away. I mean, you guys were five feet away. What was it like to see him that close? Man, seeing him up close, man, was like seeing death up close, man. My adrenaline was running so much in there, man. I, 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 I I'm. He couldn't I'm, stop farting. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, man, you're going to draw the bear up here, man. I think it's a dead animal. <laughs> I think tonight, being trapped in that cage for that moment, it scared him so bad, the way he busted out that thing and took off, that I'll guarantee you he'll never come back to that spot. We didn't get Thunderclaw, but you know what? Hopefully we scared his ass the hell away from the Smoking Rock Ranch, man. It's hard being a legend hunter, but you know what? Somebody got to do it. If you have another problem with Thunderclaw in the future, don't call your boy, okay? <laughs> All right, you ain't lying. That was some bear hugs. All right. Oh, man. All right. Bear hugs. I'll ride the river with you anytime. Oh, damn. Get over here. Get over here. Oh. Give me some beer. Oh. Coming up on Legend Hunters. We're going deep into the jungle to harvest venom. We are looking for the most deadly of everything. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. The trick with snakes is not to get venom. Oh. This sucker. You see how it's a sheer cliff going down. Right up there. What the hell? I'm out. Oh, there's a broken wire. We're heading deep into that. There's some oh, big ass venom in there, man. Why the hell am I looking for the most venomous creatures in the world? 
Cause we real stupid legend hunters. I cannot do this! Hmm. I think piss is dripping down my legs. Oh, that was a nice one, bruh. <clears throat> stupid! Okay, I'm not doing something right. Oh, nice. Megla, Magla, it's a Megla, Megalodon see tooth. This Megalodon tooth. Dang, maybe you should keep it. Yeah. To the great outbacks, to the great outdoors, let the lizard. Let me do that again.